Hello, I'm Nick Felker. You may remember me from such YouTube videos as Integrating Smart Home Devices with the Google Assistant, which you can find in the description below. Today, I'm going to talk about how to use the new Report State API to create a better user experience for smart displays and mobile phones. When you integrate your smart home devices with the Google Assistant, these devices are registered in the Home Graph, a database which stores and provides contextual information about the user's home and the devices inside. The Google Assistant sends commands to your webhook, receiving intents and responding by taking action on devices or responding with information about a user's devices. When I tell my Google Home, make my workshop cooler, my server will receive a query intent to get the current temperature, then an execute intent to set the thermostat to a lower set point. The Assistant is now coming to smart displays, offering a rich visual interface to users, allowing them to control their devices and check on their state. In a visual interface, users usually expect a more immediate response because they're looking at the screen instead of doing something else. Waiting for a query request to get the current set point will result in a noticeable visual delay. To improve the user experience, we're introducing a new API that will allow smart home developers to report the state of their devices to the home graph proactively. This will allow the Google Assistant to reduce the number of server calls and result in a more streamlined experience for developers and users. In the Google Cloud Console, create a new service account key. This will be used to make secure connections between your server and the home graph to transfer a device's current state. You will use this key when making a call using gRPC. The request will be signed with the private key from your service account. You can also send states using a post request and a JSON web token. When you report the device state, we recommend sending the entire state of the device. For example, if you have a smart switch, you only need to send the on state for the on off trait. When reporting the state for the temperature setting trait, you will need to send not just the thermostat temperature set point, but also the thermostat temperature ambient field. Now, when I take a look at my smart display, I can see the temperature of the thermostat updating in real time. Cool. We have a sample on GitHub for a dashboard which lets you view test devices and states that are currently in the home graph to let you debug. Now that you're sending the device state, you will also need to know when to stop sending the device state. When the user unlinks their data from the Google Assistant, you will receive a disconnect intent so that you can update your server logic. Now, you should be all set for giving users a better experience with the port state. I can make the workshop a little cooler, make the workshop a lot cooler, make the workshop super cool. Ah, perfect. I hope this video helped explain how to get started with integrating your smart home devices with the Google Assistant. Visit the documentation to learn more about Smart Home and join our community to discuss this with other developers. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos.